In this train, some of the victims of flight MH17. European observers can't confirm how many bodies have been found. Experts from Interpol and the Netherlands will want to begin the gruesome identification process as soon as possible. But there are still bodies missing. Emergency workers cut through the remains of the first-class cabin. They think the corpse of a crew member or passenger is inside. The rescue team has gone. No body was found here. And you can just see the kind of damage they left behind. Clearly, decomposing corpses need to be removed. But the problem is, crucial evidence is being tampered with before investigators have even arrived. Those investigators will want to search the debris for pieces of a missile. Separatists deny they brought down the Malaysian airliner, but there is growing international evidence it was hit by a surface-to-air missile fired from this territory. The flight data and voice recorders will help the investigation. These pictures show that at least one of the black boxes was recovered from the site intact. There is huge international pressure on these pro-Russian forces and the self-declared government is beginning to talk about cooperation. It says it will hand the black boxes over. Those objects have been delivered to Donetsk and remain under my control. We wait for experts, in this case the International Civil Aviation Organization, and we're ready to hand over those technical objects from the plane. This is one of the biggest crime scenes in aviation history. But for days, it's remained unsecured. There are reminders everywhere of the loss of so many lives. These people died far from their homes. The victims of a conflict that has nothing to do with them. Nazanin Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Rosipna, Eastern Ukraine.